In this tutorial I will show you pattern mapping of DOT 15 .926 editor. We will do transformation of a table to RDF format using pattern mapping described in the editor. We will use simple example contained really in the R to RML standard. This is the standard describing mapping of our relational databases to RDF and we will use example which is defined in this standard uh, for our spreadsheet transformation. We see here example of many to many tables. It has employee table, department table and connection table describing which employee is working for which department. You see it's many to many relationships really defined here. Uh, we will use example output data to see what predicates are and what RDF uh, is required according to this. It will not be really an example of ISO 15926 modeling. We will only create some classifications according to the requirements of ISO 15926, but the major information will be just related as the custom made RDF predicates. Now we will make the copy of uh, these tables and uh, transfer them to Excel for further map. You see these same tables in the spreadsheet as we are mapping not to the database but the spreadsheet. You see employee, employee table, department table and employee to department correspondence table. We can see some properties which are recorded for the employee. This is the name and the job title for the department, which is the name of the department and location of the department. So we would like to establish some relationships, to define some relationships in our project. After the mapping, these relationships will be used as RDF predicates to link entities which we will create. Let's look at the project we created for this mapping. In annotations, you can see that we will use label annotation, standard label annotation, and three specially designed annotation properties, employee number, has job and has location, to model relationships of, from employee and from the department, to which we will add the data. Now we can add the data source. Let's add new local data for source and call it employee sample. New data source can be opened here. In our project we will create entities of two types. So we will create employees and departments of our organization. To record this we need two entities with two classes. Class which will uh, contain all employees and class which will contain all departments. Doing this we will use part two data types and this will be really the only piece of ISO 15926 compliant modeling in our project. Let's arrange the windows so that we will be able to do a modeling. Let's look for organizations and we can see here class of organism and class of organization. Class of organism we will use to record class of employee. We will manually define a URI in the namespace we use for our project and we see employee created here. In the same way we will create department as a class of organization. We will again put the URI directly in this field and create the second class department. We can now remove part 2 type system from our project and proceed to our spreadsheet again. We see that for employees and for departments we have employee number which is 
the primary key for the original database and department number, which is also a primary key. Employee number and department number are unique in the context of the corresponding tables and they are also used to record relationships from employee to the department he is employed in. So unique numbers are a good thing to create a URI. So we will need URIs as unique identifiers to, for our entities in the RDF database. Let's add URIs to our table. We are adding new column for employee URI. We are adding the namespace so we will use for all employee URIs. You can see that it's based on data example org slash employee. And you can see that URI is really formed using the concatenation function standard Excel concatenation function. You see here it's Russian name as I'm recording this on a Russian installation of Excel but it's standard concatenation which really connects namespace with field for employee number. You can see this is repeated in each cell so each employee row now contains URIs for this employee. The same is done in the department table. We have department namespace for departments and we have URIs formed exactly in the same way by concatenating the namespace with the unique integer primary key department number. And on the last table where we have connectivity we have added column for employee URIs, column for the department URIs, we have added two namespaces and we have filled URIs for the employee and URIs for the department in the same manner. Of course you can see that uh, the same URIs are formed for the entities for the department and for the employee with the same unique uh, primary key number. So this table is prepared for the import. In the dot 15926 editor patterns are represented by a simple Python dictionaries. You can always change patterns, add new patterns to the editor. You can investigate what patterns are loaded on your installation of the editor. Now I will show you how we do have developed special patterns for import of table structures we have reviewed before. We have three patterns. One is designed to import employee table. The second is designed to import department table. And the third pattern is designed to import our relationship table from employee to department. Each pattern has a signature with roles corresponding to the columns of the original tables. For the employee table it will be employee column to hold URIs which we have already defined in the table. Table column for the name is the role last name. Number we will preserve uh, the identification number in our RDF data. And job description will be the, for the role job. Next, after the signature, you see the description of the option itself, of the way we have realized, in the, we will realize in our RDF data this new object. The object will have a URI. The name will be recorded as a label property. Number and job values will be recorded as a special has employee number and has job properties we have overviewed at the beginning of this tutorial. And the entity will be created with the type employee, the type which we already entered as a class in our data file. In the same way for the department table, there is a signature with roles department, designation, number and location to hold the data. And department will be created with the type department 
which we already have this entity in our file and designation will be mapped to the label property number to the has department number property and location to has location property the last table will be again modeled in the way of ISO 15926 to hold many to many relationships we need a special objects and these objects we will create as instances of part 2 type composition of individual we will create instances of part 2 type composition of individual the role has part will be occupied by the employee URI and the role has whole will be occupied by the department URI in this way we will be able to record many to many relationships between employees and departments now let's proceed to the import procedure we open the editor again we have employee sample data source open here now we can start mapping process we open build patterns from excel and select the first table employee table from the list of patterns which are available in the editor we have to select our pattern designed for employees and now we see the list of pattern roles and we have to select corresponding columns employee main role is corresponding to the URI we have formed job is the job column last name is a name column and employee number is employee number we mark the employee the entity which we will select in the checkbox and we press import import is ready now we choose the second table department table we have to choose correct department it's here this this is the pattern and we do the same we select department URI designation is the department name location is location and number is the department number again mark the department the entity we will create and press import the last stage we select the table which records employees to department correspondence again we have to check that the correct pattern is selected department is corresponding to department URI employee is corresponding to employee URI and we are changing we are adding new property to the employee the pattern knows that and then we have to check that it's indeed what we want and we press import again now we can check what was created in our data source let's start exploration from the employee class in the editor patterns are used to simplify visualization of data so let's open patterns node and we will see that employee class is classifier of four employee individuals exactly the ones we have cre cre created from the our from our table let's look at the properties of mr burns so we'll see his employee number preserved his job designer and we'll see that he is really an employee we'll see two smith employees you can notice different uris they have and in their properties we see that different employee numbers and job description one is clerk and the second one is a night guard so import of uh, all the persons we have in our table was completed successfully to look at the department let's choose the simplified view we have in our editor if we turn on simplified entity view then unfolding the class department we will immediately see all the patterns recognized for it we see that it is a classifier of observer department and research department so two departments we have seen on the table are also imported successfully if we open observer we will see that it includes mr jones and mr smith as employees if we open research department we will see that it includes mr burns and mr smith 
as employees. So we have also successfully imported all the relationships from department to employees, as many to many relationships. So the import is complete, now we can save as RDF file ample sample dot rdf the file is saved we can also save the project and all its properties and now the demonstration is completed